how to deliver check-in feedback. Now, if you're a coach that's a little bit unsure about check-ins, make sure you give us a follow and send us a message saying check-in because we've got a couple of training videos and actually a full YouTube video on how to set this up. We've also got an example check-in form that we can send you. Um, so make sure you do that first. The way I like to give check-in feedback is the same way I used to mark books, all right? So it was almost a bit of a sandwich kind of scenario. So we used to call it what went well and even better if. So what went well? What things have you done really well this week? What have you improved on? We start with that because it's nice and it's always good to start with something nice, okay? Even better if. So we don't say you didn't do this or this was shit. We say this week would have been even better if we would have done these things, if we'd have done these things. And then you would set a target to achieve for the next week. So in order to have a better week than the week we've had, these are the things that we need to do how are you going to do them? What are you going to commit to doing within your week in order to achieve these targets? You get that feedback from the client. The client has then picked their own targets. They've told you exactly what they're going to do to succeed. So it's their own choice. It's client-led coaching. And then you can hold them accountable to the things that they've said they were going to do.